YouTube, it's Satch, welcome to Driver 81. This is my Porsche 911 Carrera 4S finished in speed yellow. Now, if you follow the channel, you may know that a few months ago I did a video on uh, 10 cheap and easy modifications that you can do on your Porsche 911 997. Well, this video is simply concentrating on uh, modifications that have actually been done to this particular vehicle. So I'm not gonna look at things you can do, I'm just gonna look at purely the mods that have been done on this exact vehicle. Now before we get into it, just a quick shout out and a recommendation for the iCars of POR version 1.0 kit. It's a diagnostic tool that works on all Porsche models from the 986 era onwards. So anything from say 1997, 98 onwards, this kit will do and it'll do airbags, engines, ABS, transmission, you name it. And this kit's available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. Just click the link below this video and it'll take you straight to this kit. So before we get into the video, I just want to apologize about the state of the car. It needs a good clean. It's so dirty. In fact, I wish my wife was as dirty as this. <laughs> the old ones are the best. Uh, not the wife, of course, the car, the joke. Anyway, uh, let's get on with it. Number one, starting with the alloy wheels. Okay, so the wheels on this car are the 19 inch GT3 alloys. As you can see, they're finished in silver. Now, when I bought this car, the car actually had 20 inch alloys on it. They were black HRE. Uh, I think it's FF15 or FR15 was the name. Uh, you'll see them on screen now, which incidentally, those wheels are available for sale with the tires. If anyone's interested, please hit me a message. But these are the GT3 alloys. Um, the wheel and the tyre package probably cost about £3,500 in total, plus an extra £400 uh, I've had the wheels fully refurbished as well. Uh, one thing you may know on these wheels is that they still have the GT3 centre caps in them. I am going to change those out and just put the Porsche emblem in the minute. I don't want to make the car look like something it's actually not, although I do love the looks of the GT3. I don't want to try and pass it off as a GT3. So you're probably looking at about three, three and a half thousand pounds all in for a GT3 wheel package, 19 inch with Bridgestone alloys. All right, so next up is the suspension. Now on each corner, the car has lowered springs on it. So the IBAC Pro springs lowered by 20 millimeters on each corner. So that gives it more of an aggressive lower look um, and I think it really goes with the 19 inch alloys. Now the springs for this car cost about uh, 250 pounds. Um, when you consider you've got to get them fitted as well, you could be looking at 50 to 60 pounds a corner. So you're probably going to be looking at about 450 to 500 pounds all in for a set of lowered suspension springs fully fitted to your 997. <laughs> Okay, next up is the blacked out windows or the window tint if you like. Um, the window tints on this car were actually done before I bought the car so I'm not actually sure about what percentage they are but when you try and look in here and in the back windows it's really really difficult to see in so I, I suspect it's quite a high percentage of tint. Um, it looks great, obviously we haven't got the front window done, front windscreen, just the sides and the rear wind, uh, window. Uh, price wise for this you're probably looking for a good job you're probably looking at about three to four hundred pounds but I think it, especially with this color as well it really sets off the yellow and black go together absolutely beautifully so uh, that's certainly a worthy modification that you can do on yours um, it all depends on the color and whether the the blacked out windows would go with the car the color of that particular car so uh, something for you to think about but maybe budget three to four hundred pounds Next modification I've gone handheld for this one and we are looking at the steering wheel. The steering wheel has been retrimmed and is a really thick steering wheel but if you notice it's got the yellow stitching in the steering wheel. Obviously that matches the exterior of the car but it looks beautiful. The steering wheel itself when they come from the factory they are a lot thinner. This is a really thick steering wheel which just, just makes it an absolute delight to grab hold of 
and, uh, and shift through the gears while holding onto this steering wheel. Cost of this, uh, getting the wheel retrimmed and then uh, stitched, you're probably looking at about 200 to 250 pounds. Um, there are a few companies out there that will do it. They will either uh, send you a brand new steering wheel and you send yours back to theirs, to, back to them, sorry, or you can send it yours to them. Uh, might take about two weeks for them to retrim it and then get it back to you. Very good value if you ask me. Okay, and finally, we are looking at the rear wheels on both sides. We've got 20 millimeter spacers on the car. Uh, what is a spacer? Well, basically, the spacer allows the wheel to sit further out the arch by however millimeters you've actually put into the car. So, um, if we've got a 20 millimeter spacer, so the wheels basically are sitting 20 millimeters further out. Now, if you look at this car, you can see the wheels are kind of just in line with the arch here. If we didn't put these spacers on, the wheel would be sitting in a lot further, well, 20 millimeters in fact, and it just wouldn't look as aggressive and as, as, uh, as wide as the car does actually look. It's a wide body car, and it would be really stupid to put wheels which just sit inside the arch. It wouldn't look right, it wouldn't look good, it wouldn't look aggressive, and it would look like a cheap copy of a, a wide body, if you like. So, um, yeah, 20 millimeter spacers, they cost about 50 to 60 pound for a set of two. Um, Obviously, depending on the wheel setup and the, the suspension, the wheels, uh, the body of the car, will depend upon uh, what size spaces you actually put on the car. But for, for this car, it probably should have had 15 mil spaces on, but I went for 20 just to, just to bring it out that tiny little bit more, uh, and I think it works great. Okay, and those are all of the modifications that have been done to this car at this present time. Um, with regards to future modifications, well yes there will be some coming but I haven't quite made my mind up yet. Mainly the main two modifications that I want to crack on with are the Zunsport grills on the front and a, a Meteor exhaust on the back. I'm thinking about maybe a Gundo hat, who knows. Um, so thanks for watching the video. Please if you can like, if you can subscribe to the channel. Obviously I'm still giving away the Porsche 986 Boxster once I get to 100,000 subscribers. However, it's, uh, it's going to be a long hard slog so I can, you know, the quicker I get to 100,000, the quicker I give that away to one of the subscribers. You could be with a chance of winning that car. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Yeah.